family and welcome back to the channel it's your girl Shanisha Nicole and I am back again today with another DIY video okay y'all see I got my sewing machine out so you already know pretty much what this is going to be about but before we get started all of my new supporters welcome I hope you like it here and all of my returning supporters hey boo okay y'all <clears throat> I'm gonna try and make this quick easy and painless okay i know easter is coming and easter is a time where everybody like to dress their little girls up you know like little baby dolls and put them in a little cute little easter dresses and a cute little frilly socks okay so in today's video that's what i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all a new style of socks um or ruffle anklets shall i say um to do for your little girls but before we get into that I'm gonna go over some of the basics. Not all of them, some of them, because this is not our first video. This is not our first rodeo. And if y'all have watched my other videos, I go over, you know, to me, what's step by step on how to make them. But when I go in the comments, there's still some questions, okay? So I'm gonna try my best to answer some of these questions in this video. So we ain't gotta keep going through all of this, okay? When y'all see me post videos from socks, y'all should already know the supplies we gonna need what we like the steps we gonna need the measurements the stuff we gonna need y'all should already know all of that so i'm gonna try and you know give y'all the basics in this video i thought we did but i guess not so i'm gonna try and um go over them in this video i'm gonna try this is how i learn this is what i use this is what i do what worked for me might not work for you but i'm just giving you what i do and what has been working for me okay so, like I said, I'm self-taught. Of course, I learned how to do some stuff for somebody else and just took it and tweaked it my own self. So, you know, you may have to do this for you as well. Just take what I'm showing you and tweak it and do whatever works for you. But this is just the basis, okay? So, to make the socks, if you don't know, you're going to need a sewing machine. I use the Brother brand. It don't have to be your brand, but this is mine. This is what it looks like. Okay? So this is my brand sewing machine. This is what I use. Like if y'all watched my first video, this ain't how I started, okay? But I invested into myself and invested into the business and I purchased a, you know, better, to me, better sewing machine. So you're gonna need you a sewing machine. You're going to need you some thread, okay? If you ain't got no thread, I don't know what you're doing, okay? Sorry for the interruption. I got a phone call. But yeah, you're going to need some thread. You are going to need, sorry, I just got finished doing a, um order. So that's why I have this. You're going to need your bobbin that's already threaded. And you should know how to do this part. But if not, we'll include that in another video. But already um threaded and everything. So of the color of the sock that you're going to be doing. So if you're doing a lavender sock or if you're doing a sock that has the lavender um, tool, then, you know, they got to coordinate. You don't want to do lavender socks and you got black thread. They just ain't going to look right, you know? I'm going to try to remember why I was. I keep getting interrupted with these phone calls. Um, There's a thread. Yeah, a thread got to coordinate with what you got going on, okay? Um, You're going to need your ribbon. So let's quickly go over the ribbon. Okay, because this is where I get a lot of the questions at. So, for my toddler, well, for my infants, I use five eighths of an inch. Can y'all see that? Five eighths of an inch. That that's the that's the size that I use for for an infant. Um, how much I use depends on you. I'm not gonna tell you that what you know how what, how many yards or whatever to use because that all depends on you is how you like to do your socks and you like them to be more full and fluffy you would do of course you know more yards but then it also depends on the size of the child so when i'm doing my orders i always ask the parent how old is the child or whatever so i'll know you know the, how old and what size shoe and all of that so i'll know how much um tool and how much ribbon to you know use so that depends on you. I just I'm just showing you like the inches and stuff of the ribbon because you don't want to put a one and a half inch on the infant. Like that just ain't gonna make sense. That's gonna cover the whole baby. You ain't gonna be able to see the baby feet. So um I used five eighths of an inch, okay, for an infant. Now when I get to my toddlers, I use seven eighths 
of an inch for my toddlers. Because I feel like this is not too much. It's not, it's not, you know, a little bit. It's just enough. It's just right for um, a toddler. I do use um, an inch and a half as well. Sometimes, like I said, it depends on the size of the child. If it's a bigger, you know, because some kids, you know, are big for the age. If it's a bigger child, they're more chunky, more meaty, I'm going to use a bigger um, ribbon because it'll look better. I'm not going to use a thin ribbon on a chunky child. It's just not going to look right. So, but this is the size I use. So, I'll use either 7 eighths of an inch or I'll use 1 inch, okay, for my toddlers. Either 7 eighths or 1 inch. Or sometimes, like I said, an inch and a half. Now, for, you know, the bigger size toddlers and up, anybody else, we're going to use an inch and a half. Okay? So, this is the sizes for anybody for my bigger toddlers and up, an inch and a half. So, that's that for the ribbon. Okay, because I did get a lot of those. How you know what size ribbon to use and what size use ribbon are you using? If my title of my video says, I'm making a sock for an infant, you know I am using in this video five eighths of an inch. So you don't have to ask that in the comments because you already know by the title of the video what size I'm using. You already know that. Now, what else do I want to need for your socks is you're going to need you some elastic band. You're going to need elastic band to, y'all know the video, to feed through the channel of your socks. Now, the different sizes and types of elastic band. This is this, I don't know the size because it's off the roll and it's, I just know when I go in the store, I get the thin one. That's just all I know. So if you're doing the little anklets, get the thin one. This is what works. It's gonna be able to go through your channel. You don't wanna get something that's too thick, you know, that's too big, it's not gonna go through your channel. You're gonna get the small one, okay? The smallest of the small that you can find. And it's gonna come on a roll, all rolled up, bam. So that's that. These sizes are for different things. You can use this if you got you, you know, you made a bigger channel, it's for a bigger person. Some adults wear these sometimes, teenagers. So, you know, if you want to get a bigger elastic band, you can get this size. They have this as well on the roll. These bigger sizes are for tutus. This is what I use for my waistbands and my tutus. These are not for socks. This style with the lines is the no roll um, for the no roll tutus. This is for tutus as well, okay? So we're not putting these in socks. So don't ask what size elastic band because it ain't this, okay? The thin ones is what you're looking for. These are for something completely different, so don't go with these. Okay, besides your lighter, your basic stuff, your scissors, of course, your bobbins. I get these in a the pack at Hobby Lobby and they're usually on sale, but $3.99 for if they're not on sale. All right, so for the tool. Ooh, cause baby y'all, it's gonna stress me out, okay? For the tool, I get my tool from Hobby Lobby, sometimes Walmart. If I'm doing a, doing a quick little job and I don't feel like driving all the way to Hobby Lobby, if it's something I don't already have in my stash, I'm going to drive up the street to Walmart and I'm going to get me some tool, okay? Now, Hobby Lobby always have the thicker rolls, the better quality, and they always on sale. Well, you know, if you go in on a week where they got, they alternate the week. So if you go on a week where they got the tool on sale, go ahead and get it, honey, okay? Go ahead and get it. Because I think it'd be like $2.00. $1.50, $2, something like that for the tool. They last you a long time because they come in there. They're pretty, pretty thick. Like, I made a couple pairs out of this. You don't need a whole lot. Um, The different styles, like, you're going to get polyester, okay? Tool. And why you going to get that? Like, this one, I'm going to show you. Because it holds the sock. You see this? It ain't moving. It ain't doing nothing. It's going to hold the shape of the sock. And that's what you want it to do. Because if you get the cheap, you know, kind, it's going to be all over the place. Your um, your sock, the ruffling of your sock is going to move like this. And it's going to be all shaky. You don't want that. You want it to be stiff and cute. All right? So, like I said, this is how I test mine. If I'm in the store, if I don't know if it's the right kind or the right, you know what I'm saying, material, I, this is what I do. I hold it and I do it like this. If it stay up, this is what we want. Now these other ones, they cute and all, 
But they ain't see, see, it's all over the place already. If I do that, do my test to it, and it don't stand up, we don't want it. Okay, so this is trial and error. I got a lot of these that's trial and error. They're going to get the job done, but they're going to be, your socks going to be all over the place, and then they ain't going to be cute. Here go another one. This is the one we finna use in this video today, but this is just for the purposes of this video. Don't get this kind. Don't say I told you to get it. Okay? It's all over the place. It don't stand up. Okay? We don't want that. So, to, to avoid all that, go to Hobby Lobby. Go to Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby don't have that other stuff. They got this, they got this kind. They got the kind we, we want. Okay? Or if I go to Walmart, this is new show y'all. I get the kind that say matte. Matte tool from Walmart. Why? Because boom. Okay? It does the same as the Hobby Lobby kind. So if you go to Walmart, you're going to get the matte tool. The matte tool is the one you're going to get if they don't have, you know, if you can't get the Hobby Lobby, you got to do like me. Like I said, I run up to Walmart because it's closer and quicker. I'm looking for the matte tool. All right? Any color, whatever color you're going to get, just make sure it's matte. If they don't have it, don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. Don't put it in your bucket. Don't spend your money. Don't waste your money. Don't do it, okay? If it ain't matte, don't get it. All right. So, we over there. We over the basics of what you need to do your socks because y'all was running me ragged in the comments, honey. And for those that can't stay focused, I ain't got no nails on today. It ain't because of you. It's because I got a lot of other stuff going on. Y'all seen the other videos with the body butter and all of that. I need to be able to move. I need to be able to do what I need to do so I don't have nails on at this moment, okay? But so, you know, you should, you should have no problem with focusing and paying attention in class today because my my nails is not going to be a distraction to anybody because I don't got nothing on, all right? For those in the back that be in the comments screaming, oh, this video is about your nails. And I told y'all it's not because I have nail vlogs, okay? All right. So now that's over with, let's get into the purpose of today's video. Cause I ain't trying to hold y'all got stuff to do and I'm pretty sure you do too, okay? Cause Easter is coming. All right. So today's video, we are going to make double layer anklets, okay? And what I mean by double layer is, is two layers of ribbon. And they're gonna overlap each other to give it a more cuter effect to it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how to do that and what you're gonna need. Whew. But if you can use any kind of, like, let me let me get some different ribbons so I can show y'all. I had them in here, but I don't know what happened to them. I think I put them away because the kids is messing with them. But let me go and get them so I can show you. Hold on, just a moment. All right, we back. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm trying to make it quick. Of course, at least 10 minutes, but I'm trying to make it quick. Um, Yeah, so for the double layer, it, it don't have to be a certain, you know, size uh ribbon or anything like that you could do a big and a small one um you could do two of the same size you can do one a little bigger than the other you could do a fat one and a skinny one you could do different colors different patterns like this to give the sock a little bit more texture so this is something i would do and something i think i have done that's why i have this i think so when i did my knee socks if i got a picture or a clip i insert it but if not oh well um something like this oh uh, like we finna do this is something I did a birthday, um, not a birthday, a baby shower or a um, diaper cake. But I'm going to use this for our video, okay? Just, just to give you guys some ideas. But it, it can be big and little, two little um, ribbons, you know, two of the same size, two of the same colors. Just to give it a little bit more thicker look to it. Um, two different colors. You can do some with glitter, one without glitter. Like it, it's just whatever your imagination is. Just let it run wild, okay? When it comes to this, um, so yeah, like you can do the ones with two different patterns on them to give it a different look. You could do, like I said, two different colors, something like this to give it a different look. You know, a one with a design, one without a design, which is what we're gonna be doing. So you don't have to have a certain type of ribbon to do this or whatever. Just Get it and go with it, all right? So let's go ahead, let's get started so I can show y'all. Of course, when you get started, you know, the first thing you want to do is um, seal the ends of your ribbon. So I'm gonna do that real quick because this is a mess over here. So let me cut this and then we're gonna just seal this on up. I wasn't gonna seal it, but I don't want people asking, well, what you, why you ain't seal it or what's this? And thinking they're missing a step. So for the purpose of this video, that's what I'm gonna do. 
So of course, you know the first thing you want to do is fill your ends. And I'm taking your ribbon shine. We're not gonna make two socks. We're not gonna make a whole sock. This video ain't gonna be long at all, like I said, okay? So this just is this just the basics to show you guys how to make this style sock, okay? So we're not gonna do two or none of that. I'm not gonna show y'all how to speed it through because I already did that. Just just to show you how to get the double layer effect when it comes to anklets. It would be nice to have me some thread up here. So let me get, um, you know, I'm going to put the purple back. One, so y'all can see it. And then two, just because I don't want to have to re-thread the bobbin and all of that just for this video. So I'm going to put this on back in here. And then I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So... Things always go wrong when you start recording. You don't want to go in, don't want to come out. Thank you. Oh, another question I get too, well, I got a lot in the comments was, what was the setting for my uh, sewing machine so boom let me show you that my tension is always here this how I do, I do it this ain't how you do it the other people you see do it that's on them that's on you this how I do it okay and it's been working for me my tension is always on five when I'm doing when I'm sealing the sock um doing the elastic part because you know it's a zigzag stitch I always put it on this last one okay but when I'm sewing my ribbon onto my sock, I go either between seven or eight. It depends on the kind of ribbon I use. Gross grain, I'll do an eight. And then if it's the regular silk ribbon, I'm going to put it on the... Oh, I ain't even showing y'all. Jesus. If it's gross grain, I'm going to put it on an eight. If it's the regular silk ribbon, I'm going to put it on a seven, okay? I don't... This too tight of a stitch. And then these over here is... It's too loose, like I, I don't do those. So just seven, I stick between seven and eight, okay? So for this one, we're gonna be doing eight because they both, um, um, seven because they are both silk ribbons. So it's for everybody who was asking that, what, you know, what settings I have my um, machine on. It's always a seven or eight. So if y'all see me doing a video and I'm using gross grain ribbon, y'all already automatically should know my setting. I'm, I'm over here on the eight, okay? And you already know my tension gonna be on the five. All right, got it? Okay, all right. Okay, so like I said, your tool, your ribbon, your thread all need to correlate with each other. They all need to be the same colors so they can look as one when they are on your child's um, foot or whatever, leg or whatever, whatever you're doing. Okay, so we're gonna use this green, even though this is not the right kind of material, we're using it for the purpose of this video. So you do it like you would do a basic anklet. We're gonna line our um, ribbon and our tool up. So with the two layer sock, what you're gonna do is the layer that's gonna be on the bottom, you're gonna face the ribbon up, okay? So since this is gonna be on the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and start sewing it and we're gonna face it up. Remember, you're always going to stitch, back stitch, and then continue, okay? Like I said, we're not making a whole song. We're not making two. This is just for y'all to pick up what I'm putting down. It's just for the basics of the video, okay? Okay. 
And as far as sewing um, onto the ribbon, you can sew it in the middle. I don't know if y'all can see this. I try to use the color so y'all can see. You can sew it in the middle or you can sew it closer to the top. You don't want to sew it nowhere near the bottom because that's where, you know, you're going to see that part. I usually do the middle or closer to the top. The middle, I do it on all of my socks, but for this, I usually do the middle or the top because you're going to have another piece that's going to fall over top of it and overlap it. So it's going to be covering that, okay? So you can do the middle. It's still going to be cute. You're just not going to see the stitching or closer to the top. So when it does overlap, you don't see that part. you know you are going to clip your ribbon okay so you don't see that and like I told y'all in the other video if you got some tool hanging underneath this will be the time to cut it or at the end of your sock because once you get to scrunching it um you don't really see that but if you like to be like me and picky you'll go ahead and do it but if you're in a rush you know you want to give your customer the best product you can go ahead and cut that part off so i'm just cutting off all the extra thread all right so like i said the bottom ribbon is going you're going to sew down face up okay so now for your top ribbon you're going to sew face down and i'm going to show you why okay let me get it together over here okay so like i said we sewed this part face up we're gonna sew the other side face down but that's only if you're gonna sew it this way if you're gonna keep it on like this and you just move it over and you're gonna sew on this side if you got it like that that's you then you would do it face down okay me no ma'am and let's see and when you do it face down you're going to put it underneath the tool. So you're going to do it face down and underneath the tool. Okay? That's if you're going to keep it on like this. It's the one we just sewed on and it's on top. Face up. You're just going to move the tool over and start sewing the part that we're going to be that's going to be on top. This is the part that's going to be on top. We're going to flip it over. So if you're going to do it this way, you put it the ribbon face down, tool on top like this. Okay, it's underneath the tool. That's if you're gonna do it this way. Me, I don't do it that way. I just flip it over because it's easy for me to sew it already on this side. I don't, I can't push this over here and start sewing. I don't know because I'm right-handed or what. I don't know, but I don't do it that way. So I just come on over, flip it over to the side I'm gonna be working on, move this out my way, and boom, okay? So if you're gonna do it the way I do it, it's easier for me that way. Um, you just slide it over, you flip it over. It don't gotta be face down, it can be face up because this side is already face down. So now we can start sewing face up and you can put it on top of the tool, okay? Because it's going to flip over. Like such. So you can sew on top of the tool and face up and if you don't know which side face up and face down this your shiny side is face up the dull side is face down so if you're doing satin ribbon or any other ribbon the side that don't got a lot of designs on it um is the dull side that will be face that's face down okay so 
So, but we're gonna do face up because we got this side already face down. So we're doing, we're gonna sew face up on top of the tool. And I'm gonna show y'all. Sorry if it seemed a little difficult. Um, for some people, I'm trying my best. Of course, you're going to fill the ends of your ribbon like you do normally. Okay, and you're going to start and back stitch on this as well, beginning and end. Face up on top of the tool. This is the part that's face up. This is the part that will be face down. Okay, but if you do it like we just did it, it'll be so much easier. You just take it, flip it over, and boom, you got two layers. Okay, so you got a two layer sock, two layer tutu sock or anklet. So then what you would do is to proceed like, like a normal Tutu saw, you start sewing your channel. Okay, so let's do that part. So I don't lose you and I keep y'all where we at. Okay, we keep everybody in attendance in class today. So let's go ahead and let's do that part. And you ain't gonna fold it all the way over. If you fold it all the way over, it's pointless. You're not gonna see the two layers. So you're going to fold it halfway. Like I said, if you sew it in the middle, you just cover a little bit of that line. Sorry, we had to use this ugly purple um, thread it's just so y'all can see what I was saying, what I was talking about, just for visualization purposes. So you're gonna fold it halfway over so you can still see the bottom um, ribbon, okay? And then you're gonna start sewing your channel. Show you what it's gonna look like once we get it on 
the um, elastic band. I'll show you what it's gonna look like. Now the elastic band too, the size of it or the length of it, how long you put it also plays a part. Um, what I have learned, it also plays a part in how puffy um, and big your socks and for they look. So if you cut a long piece, like you're trying to exactly measure it up with the child's ankle, it's going to be too big and then it's not going to like flow right. It's not going to look right. So you don't want to cut it too small where it's cutting off the child's circulation, but you want to cut it small because you have to scrunch it and force it um, through the channel and on, you know, force the um, ribbon and the tool onto this. So the more you force it and the closer you get it pushed on together, the better the, the like the flow of the, the ribbon will look. So if you got it and it's too long and you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, make it exactly the length, you don't want to do that. You gotta go, you're gonna make it a little smaller than the child's actual ankle. That's why I ask how old a child is too, and like what size shoe or clothes or whatever they were, so I know how big to cut the um elastic band. But since this ain't really going on nobody, we gonna we don't gotta do it that long. It's just to show y'all. Let me go like this. Okay, boom. So it will be on somebody's package. Okay, of course it's gonna stretch. But just for the purpose of this video, we're gonna cut it right here. Let me get my um, two safety pins. Okay, no, I forgot that in the first part of the video, you're gonna need two safety pins. It's all in all the other two videos. I'll show y'all that, but I forgot it for this video. Two safety pins, one on this end, one on the other end. I'll be back. Alright, so I got my um got my pins on my elastic band. If you don't know how to do this, if you're not familiar with um feeding the elastic band through the channel, stop this video, go and watch my other two because I do show you more in depth. This is not the purpose of this video, so I'm not gonna break this part down. I'm actually finna speed it up, okay? So I'm gonna speed this part up. I'll see y'all when we done. Says tool off, or if you got um thread that's um hanging that you forgot to cut off, this will be the time if you didn't do it the other time when I told you, um, like before you do the channel part. If you didn't do it then, and this will be the perfect time to do it now, cut the excess tool and the excess threading off. Okay, so this is how it turned out. Let's see, it's a double, it's double layers, see? One on top of the other, this is how it looks. It's full, but it's not as full because we didn't use, you know, a whole, we didn't do the whole thread. It's just to show you guys, you know, how to do it. And then we also use that tool, like I said, that don't stay up, it be falling down. We use that too, so it's kind of floppy. But if it was more full, we had more yards in it, and then we used the right kind of tool, it'd be a, it'll be a lot more fluffier, more gathered um, look to it. But if that's all you got, and you can still make it work, why not, okay? So this is how it looks. All right, so you guys, thank you for tuning in to today's video. I hope y'all picked up everything that I put down for y'all. I did my best to try and break it down and make it as simple as possible to go over some of the questions that I had in the comments because I do read my comments. Um, you know, I, I hope you guys learned from this. If you did, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about Shanisha Nicole. Tell them to come on over, join the crew, share this video. Also, I hope before we got to the end of this video that you guys like this video. Okay, give it a big thumbs up comment you know if you learn something from it if you have any other questions like i said i did read my comments so if you have any other questions comment that down below there is another way of doing this um it's a lot more simpler but this is more prettier prettier to me um but it is another way to do it so if you want to see a different way of doing it let me know i'll probably do it anyway um because you know it's going to be easter so i want to show you how to make these little cute little easter anklets and socks for you for your daughters okay um so yeah, don't 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about Shanija Nicole. Come on over and join the crew, okay, you guys? Do not forget to shop also www.glossyglam2mscosmetics.com, okay? Easter is coming. I let me show, matter of fact, let me show y'all the products for Easter just a moment. Okay, shameless plug because this is my channel and this is my business, all right? So while we're speaking on Easter, Glossy Glam Cosmetics has these. You guys saw that we um, did these. We have these on our website. This is the Peep, Sneak Peep, like the Peep Bunny lip gloss set. And it has five different lip gloss shades and scents in it, as well as scented, jelly bean scented grass. With, we have jelly beans in it as well. This is right now $5 on the site. These are perfect for um, Easter basket stuffers for your daughters, okay? Look at the pretty colors in them. So these are on the website right now for 50% off, $5. After Easter Sunday, you know, they'll go back up um, because this is lip gloss. I can repackage this and continue to sell it, okay? So it's probably gonna go back up to a regular $10. But for Easter, this is $5 and you get five different lip glosses as well as some little treats. Perfect, perfect, perfect Easter basket stuffer. You can give these with your, um, whoever you're making your uh, anklets and socks for, okay? So Glossy Glam 2M Cosmetics.com. Use code Easter50. Easter50 at checkout. You can get this for $5, okay? Also for $5, our Sneak Peek Body Set. Okay, so we do have, before I get into these, we do have full-size um, body butters as well as body polishes, like sugar scrubs. So our body butter is comes in eight ounces and four ounces, and this is the spring team, okay? So because this is Easter spring theme, this is also 50% off on the site, okay? So code Easter 50 gets you an eight ounce or a four ounce um, for 50% off right now on our website. So, also, we have, this is the Spring Teens Body Polish. You guys actually saw me make this. Um, so, this is also 50%, 8 ounces, it's real heavy. 8 ounces or 4 ounces on the website as well. Right now, until Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday comes, it's going to be repackaged and, you know, whatever we have left. We may do it like the end of season sale or something like that before Mother's Day because I have some Mother's Day baskets or Mother's Day um, items that I'm going to be putting together, boxes that I'm putting together that's going to be our Mother's Day lunch. But for our spring and Easter lunch, we have these 8 ounce and 4 ounce body butters, body and body polish and lip gloss on the site, 50% off. Now, you, you saw me make them, but if you're not too sure about, you know, the texture, even though I gave you guys a performance test on the um, actual blog, if you are not, oh, if you didn't watch those vlogs, go back and watch those, very informative as well, so y'all kind of know what, how we make these and um, what we put into them. Um, but if you're not really ready to commit to purchasing a four ounce bottle or jar of our body cream or polish, eight ounce or four ounces, because you can do a four ounce, but if you're not committed, and you just want to see how everything smells, feels, how it works. We have these uh, sample sets. The sample sets are regularly $10. They are going for $5 as well on the website, code Easter50. So you can either get a body cream set with our body butters. It comes with all four of the body butters we have on our website right now, which is the Luscious Lemon. These are one ounce jars, all of them. Luscious Lemon, Peach Mango Tango, we have our spring teams, and then we have birthday suit with the sprinkles. Okay, so this is the body cream set, which is what we call our um, body butter, and then we have the body polish set. All the same things, everything is the same. It's just like our normal big jars, but it's just in the sample sizes, one ounce jar. So if you're not ready to commit to a full size jar, you can try these out for $5. So it's $5 for one, $5 for the other. You can get both sets for $10. That way you can see if you like our um, body polish as well as our body cream, okay? And that's if you don't want to do this because this is just a sample. Even though these are on sale, this is a sample of all of our um, items we have right now on the website, okay? So www.glossyglam2mscosmetics.com. Like I said, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and tell a friend, tell a friend about Shanitra Nicole. Also go and watch our other videos, very informative videos, our entrepreneur vlogs, 
how we made all of this stuff. Um, if you're new, this is your first time watching us do the anklets, go and watch the other two videos prior to that as well. Like I said, comment down below if you want me to make the other version of the socks, I can, or the anklets, I can do those as well. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Love you guys. Bye.